Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here. Mac OS Tahoe is here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download the full installer four different ways so you can use that installer to be able to troubleshoot your Mac, reinstall Mac OS, or create a USB installer drive. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. First of all, what is the full installer and what can it be used for? You can download and install current versions or previous versions of the Mac operating system on compatible Mac computers. And you can use that full installer to create a USB flash drive. And you can install Mac OS on a secondary volume or reinstall or upgrade Mac OS in recovery or do multiple other things like troubleshooting or installing on a separate drive. There's so many things you can do with the Mac OS installer. And it is a large download. Now, Mac OS Tahoe is around 17 gigabytes as a full installer. Now, there's also a difference in the full installer compared to the IPSW file for Apple Silicon M1, 2, 3, 4, and future CPUs. And if you need the IPSW to be able to restore your Apple Silicon device, and you can use my site to download direct links from Apple's servers to be able to restore your Apple Silicon device. But the full installer can be used on both Intel and Apple Silicon devices. Once downloaded, whether you're installing with the beta version of macOS or the public version, this is what the icons will usually look like. The beta will have Mac OS on here and the public version will have the design of the wallpaper. And this is what it'll look like in your applications folder when you're done downloading it. Now that we have some of that out of the way, let's show the four different ways to be able to download the full installer. Now, the first thing that you should do is make sure that your Mac, that you're downloading Mac OS Tahoe is compatible with Mac OS Tahoe. And the reason why they say that is because most of the options that Apple provides to download the full installer require your Mac to be compatible with it. So if you have an older Mac that's not compatible, you won't be able to download Mac OS Tahoe with the included Apple ways to be able to do that. So with that said, the first way to be able to download Mac OS Tahoe, which is the easiest way, is to go to my website and go to the Mac OS Tahoe full installer database. And I'll include a link down below. You can go to my main site. And the reason this is the easiest is because I provide all the versions of the beta and the public versions of Mac OS Tahoe. This is where the Mac OS Tahoe public and beta full installer links will be. It'll look like an install assistant package link like this. It'll show the version, the build, and the app, and if it's available, and the date. And the reason why is because Apple will pull previous versions of Mac OS full installer from their servers after a certain time. So usually you want to grab it and store it on a USB drive if you want to be able to keep versions there. Now this is what it looks like, for example, for Mac OS Sequoia, all the previous versions. And then once Apple pulls this from the server, I'll have no on here. So to be able to download, all you need to do is click on this link here. And if you look down here below, down here in the info bar, you'll see these links come directly from Apple. And I'll show you how I get those links. I use the software update inspector and these show the direct links directly from Apple. And you can see the install assistant right here, copy the URL and that's the URL directly from swcdnapple.com only download from Apple. Don't download from anywhere else because only Apple provides the full safe installers. And if you don't believe, again, just look at that link and verify that it's the full Apple domain first down here before you download and then you'll be able to get the package. So all you need to do is click on this and it'll start to download into your downloads folder. Once in the downloads folder, this is what the file will look like. Just the same name and everything as it is here. All you need to do is double click this package. And what it has is the Mac OS installer app inside this package. And once we install this, it will be in our applications folder. So we'll click on continue, install, and we'll type in our administrator password here, prepare to start, and the installation was successful. Click close. And you can either keep this file or move it to the trash. I like to keep these install assistants on a separate drive for future use if needed. So once that's done, we can go to our applications folder. And this is what you'll see in there, whether you download the beta version or the public version down here, this is what you'll be able to tell the difference between these two. So this will be the public version and this will be the beta version. So whatever one you want to be able to use, that's what will be in your applications folder. And that's how to download the full installer with a URL from my site through a web browser. Up next is how to download with software update dash fetch full installer through the terminal app. 
Now the next way we're going to show number two is an Apple supported way to be able to download the full installer on your supported Mac OS Tahoe Mac. This will not work if you want to get Tahoe and you have a non-supported Mac OS Tahoe app, it just won't show up in this list. So what we're going to be do what we're going to be doing is using the software update binary in the terminal app. The terminal app is located in applications in the utilities folder and this is what it looks like when you start it up so i ran software update and i hit enter and we have all the options that we can use the ones we're going to be using here is two we're going to list the full installers here to show all availables and we're going to fetch the full installer when we find the right version now this is important because whether you're downloading the beta or the full installer you need to be a part of the beta. So let's say if you want to download the Mac OS Tahoe beta, you have to have your Mac in the beta system first through beta.apple.com. So to get the beta, all you need to do is go to beta.apple.com and I'll show you how to get the beta updates here. And then in here, you'll, be, you'll have to click on this and that's where you'll see beta updates. When you click on this, you'll have to see Mac OS Tahoe beta in here to be able to even see in the software update. So once that's selected, now we're gonna be able to see it in the software update here. If you're doing just the regular public version, you don't need that at all. So we'll hit enter a couple times to get back to the prompt. Software update dash dash list full installers and hit enter. It's gonna check the software update server. It's also gonna see that it's on the beta track and it's gonna be able to see beta versions of Mac OS Tahoe. There it is. Mac OS Beta version 26.0. So if it's the public version, it'll just say Mac OS Tahoe, and then it'll say version 26.1.2.3. Now to download it, all we need to do is run a new command. Software update, dash dash fetch, dash full, dash installer, space, dash dash full, dash installer, dash version space and now the version number so 15.5 or for example for tahoe 26.1 2 or 3 in this case we're doing 26.0 enter and it's going to scan for the installer and it's going to start to download the installer and what it's going to do is it's going to go installing well the installing part actually means that it's downloading and then it's going to stall at about 60 to 70 percent and that's where it's going to be actually installing the download right to your applications folder and i'll show you what it looks like after and here it is when the download is done you'll see install mac os beta if you're doing 26 beta or tau beta and if you are downloading the public or the final version 26.1 2 3 or 4 or 5 this is what it'll look like right here and the wording so that's software update fetch full installer third way is to use a Mac App Store link directly from Apple. Now, if you go to my page here, how to download Mac OS, all the links for the App Store is listed here, all the way back to Mac OS Sierra 10.12. So for example, Tahoe, the link's not available yet, but I'll have it right here. We can use Mac OS Sequoia 15 as an example. All we need to do is follow this link. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna open the link from the App Store. Yes, we are going to open that link, and here's the Sequoia preview. It's going to show Mac OS Tahoe here. We'll click on Get, and it'll immediately open up our software update here, and it'll show the full installer and ask us if we want to download the full installer. And all we need to do is click on Download, and it'll do the same thing. And then when complete, It'll be in our applications folder right here, like before. Now, sometimes errors will happen. For example, if you try to download an older version, you might get an error. Usually it only lets you download the current OS that you're on. For example, this is on Sequoia or newer. If you're trying to download Mac OS Sonoma, for example, you will get an error, it won't let you download. And the fourth way is to use the open source Mac admin created Mist application. This is a wonderful application that lets you download the IPSW files here. The same thing with the installers. You'll see Mac OS Tahoe here, Mac OS Sequoia when it's available. If you want to be able to see the beta versions, all you need to do is go into the settings for Mist and then click on installers and make sure that you have the public beta or developer beta or customer beta listed here to be able to show on the settings when you are checking for the versions and it'll be listed as beta here. 
I hope this video helped you download the full installer of macOS Tahoe. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.